Welcome to Sandra's Sensations. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to be doing a 14 by 14 butterfly. Well, the canvas is 14 by 14, a butterfly with a little bit of a flower, I think. I've got the white acrylic going already on the canvas. It's going to quickly give it a torch and get rid of some bubbles. And again, this white acrylic has got my 50% glue, 50% water mixture mixed in with it. So it makes the paint go a lot much farther and helps do all the fluid art that we do. So always remember 50% water, 50% glue. You add that to your paint at a 50-50 ratio. That's how you mix your paints. Alrighty. So, what colors do I want to do? Let me start with my magenta. And I'm going to be doing something here that I want it to kind of look like a flower. It's abstract, so it doesn't have to be perfect. color do I want in there? Maybe some yellow or purple? No, we'll go with purple. That should be good. And I will add a little bit of yellow in hopes that it looks like A flower with adding a bit of yellow. Let's see. And I'm going to take my piece of plastic and just put it down on the corner here where I've painted and just press it down. Doesn't matter if there's wrinkles. moving the paint around a little bit in the white paint. Get rid of bubbles, air pockets, one right there that come out. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull it off. Go corner to corner. Voila. Throw that away before I spill paint everywhere. Now it's like the illusion of a flower. And give it a little torch. Lots of bubbles there. We'll have a little bit of cell action as well, so we'll let that sit for a minute while I paint my butterfly. Okay. Alrighty. So now, what do I want to do? Hmm. My body, I'm not sure what color I'm going to do my body yet. Let's do the wings though in the, I'm going to do it in the Brilliant blue. I'll do my first one. Right about here. And then with that color, I'm going to do my Bahama blue. Do we want one more color? Yeah, let's go with 
my chartreuse green just to give it some brightness these butterflies are always beautiful let's see if that's enough now I'm going to take my chain let's see how we do here Just giving it a little wipe off with my rag. Oops, knocking stuff over on my table. Okay. Now to me that needs a darker color, so I'm gonna go with navy. I'm gonna do one more swipe over that with some navy. Okay. I'm liking what my flower is doing here. That's better. I like that much better. Okay. <clears throat> Giving it another little quick wipe. And then we'll do the second wing, which will be bigger. Okay. So, what I did for the first time was this bright blue. It's going to be good here. And then we did the Bahama blue. did the chartreuse green, right? The one I can't get the lid off now. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pull that through first and then I'll add the navy. <coughs> Hopefully I've gone high enough with this. So, okay, I gotta do the navy now. Okay, now to decide 
leave that there just in case I need it. And the body's gonna be not navy, I don't want it to be the same color. <clears throat> My deep sapphire and metallic, maybe. Let's get the body going first, and then I'll. Too much paint on there. How can I fix that? Let me see here. Where's my plastic sheets? Here we go. Okay. And this guy. I'm just going to pull some of that paint right off of there. Because there's just too much. close to where I'm working. Could need to move a little bit more. Okay. Deal with that after. Okay. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of white so I can work it in here. Okay, I got something to work with. I'm going to make that green work for me. <coughs> By just adding a little bit of what I pulled off into the flower. Out quite nicely. Painting's going to be a little longer than I planned because I wasn't planning on doing grass and stuff, but that's okay. Not grass, but leaves and such. Just a little hint of it. Okay. <clears throat> so now, the body. I want to do... Not the brilliant blue, the metallic sapphire, right? I'm going to start here. Draw my lines through here to join them. 
I'll just do a little. <coughs> that was a little bit too much, I think. Just to add some white in there. There we go. Now, this guy here needs to just have a line drawn around. that and this one goes around like this just kind of breaking up the uh, the colors just a little bit. Butterflies are always very unique, right? Definitely don't want totally straight lines because it just doesn't look right. There we go. Okay. So now, do I want to add little feet hanging down? I don't know if I'm pushing it. Yeah, I think I'm pushing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to forget about the feet. I'm just going to fill that green in a little bit more. In here. So it looks like it belongs. <coughs> and then we just want a little bit of color around the side. I think I'll be calling this one done. What colors do we want to do? Hmm, deep turquoise I haven't used yet on this painting anyways. We'll do that. And I think some yellow. And the magenta that I have in the flower needs to be added in there somewhere. Okay. I'm just going to take my painting knife that I use for everything. And I'm just going to do just a couple of little marks per se. more yellow in there. Right. Okay, my little 
let's get some of this pink in here too. There we go. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to add a little bit of what looks like a couple of buds up into the greenery. First butterfly painting. I think that turned out pretty good. Quick little painting. Alrighty, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.